What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about what I'm staying in this weekend and um, how I went about doing it. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick with Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So, in the last videos, you saw me staying in this, this camper. Um, this is not my camper, but it is a Coleman. Um, I forgot the model number. I'll put the model number and everything right down here. Um, and I'll throw up a couple of pictures of the outside. It has a typical awning with the lighting under it. Um, it is a tow behind, it probably tow behind my truck with no problem add-ons here and there that the you know person that owns the trailer did it does have a slide out um, i will show you the, all the features here in a minute um, but it's how i got this camper it's not mine i rented it i rented it through outdoorsy now outdoorsy is an app i also have a website that you can go in and pick an area that you're going to and rent a camper and either one pick it up and take it or you can have it taken and put up for you at your campsite now there is some cost differences and there is some cost incurred in that and we'll go over that here in just a second now the way it works the way outdoorsy works you're going to have a rental fee per night some of them have a maximum of two nights some have a maximum of three nights some may not have a maximum that's strictly up to the owner of the camper they can pick how much they rent the camper for per night now on the average it's been on the size of the camper this particular camper was i think 80 bucks a night spitballing i'm just guessing because i don't remember so you would take that times however many nights you're going to be using it and that's how much your rental is okay now you will have insurance for the camper if you're towing it you will have a different insurance if you're not towing it and you're just having it set on a spot and it never moves um, that's what i have with this one is the insurance that would cover if anything happened while it was sitting here like for instance tree falling i catch it on fire burning to the ground <laughs> that would suck that's what that insurance would cover now they do have some some of them have add-ons they will add in lawn chairs or they might add in carpet or they might add in um, black stone for you to cook on outside they may add on different things you know depending on who they are and what what you're looking for i mean you know that could change um from camper to camper to people to people there's no set limit on what they have and no set limit on size of camper you get you can get teardrops which is what i was trying to get to begin with was a teardrop and i really wanted to see what that would be like but instead i ended up with this thing and now we're going to go over this thing but the other thing i wanted to go over with is so you got say 400 dollars for a total for three nights sleeping in a camper you will have a deposit and depending on the person is how much that deposit is this one was five hundred dollars up front i had to put down a deposit of five hundred dollars now as long as i don't burn the thing down destroy it or cause any major damage which i have not done i've been taking really good care of it um i've actually got my sleeping bag on top of their comforter and then i'm laying on top of my sleeping bag just me now i am using their pillows i didn't use my pillow but I'm using theirs. I can use the whole bed however I wanted. It didn't matter. I, I'm paying for it. And they'll, they'll change the sheets anyway afterwards. Marsha. Okay, that was one of the other things. Um, I wanted heat and air. Because I was going to be here for, you know, so many days in the same spot. So I wanted to be comfortable as possible. Uh, not only that, but I had a five-hour drive to get here. Now, I will be leaving tomorrow. 
and headed to Rome Mountain to camp for the night. And I will be camping in my tent. I will maybe may do something different. I don't know how I'm going to do Rome Mountain yet, but I'm camping at Rome Mountain tomorrow night. Um, but I literally pulled up, got out of my truck, put my suitcase in here, put my stuff down. I was camping. That was it. I didn't have to do anything. Now, tomorrow morning, once I get through, message him. Hey, I'm done. Leaving. Come get it. He'll come get it. Empty the black water tank the whole nine yards. Now, I will say the people's name, Chris, is the guy that runs this one. Been excellent to work with. I appreciate him. Um, he went through everything that the camper does and doesn't do and all that good stuff. And, you know, told me what... Go have fun have a good weekend so let's let's talk about it and, and one of the things i found pretty cool is how much they maximize every little inch inside these things now queen size bed behind me you can't see them but on either side on this side over here there's a nightstand with a drawer there's a closet basically with a drawer uh and there is plugs on either side uh, they have USBs and regular 110. This is hooked up to shore power or it can run off of battery power. Uh, the refrigerator runs off, well, wait a minute. So then you got storage over here. There is a light up under the bed over here. Let's see if I can get to it. Up under the bed here, right there. So nice, soft light. This light can cut off separate so you don't have as dark in here. Now, the bed lifts up. There's storage under there. I haven't been under there. I don't care. Don't need to know about it. But there is a window on this side, and there is a window on this side. Um, so you can open up the windows and have fresh air blowing in. Might do that tonight. I don't know. So let me stop. We'll look at the kitchen area. Okay, real quick. Let's take a look at the kitchen area. So you start. It's right here beside the door. You have an upper cabinet. You have your sink, double sink with a sprayer hose and hot and cold water. Storage. Then over here you have a microwave. Generous size. You could pop some popcorn or hot pockets. You do have a vent above the stove three burner stove nice stove i made coffee on it this morning and below that you do have an oven now you will not be basting a turkey in this said oven because it is not that big but you could probably bake you some biscuits or you can make some cookies in it or you can bake a pie anyway that's about it then you have your fridge refrigerator it's rv style fridge refrigerator it does run off of propane yeah anyway if i have one it would have to run off electric too but then you have your furnace there at the very bottom now as you will see tv we're not going to show a bunch of that because there is a game on then you have storage you do have a radio there are speakers in the ceiling and on the outside i had thought about playing reveille this morning at seven o'clock over the speakers but i didn't and then you have this little couch area right here. Let me back up. The, so you have this little couch, and I'm pretty sure it folds out into another bed. So you could basically have another person or two sleeping on that, um, or a couple of kids. And then mom and dad being the, sorry about the way this is twisting. Or you have mom and dad back here. And, well, this door right here. That leads to the toilet, shower, and sink. And let me tell you guys, that is tight area. Okay, so that's the roundabout of what this camper's got in it. Um, I'm hoping this is not one of their kids. I really, I really don't. It's Halloween, okay? So this is when I'm renting this cabin. It was Halloween. But that was in here when I come walking in. I did not do this. They did this. Thank you, Chris and family. That's cool. But uh, anyway, so that's it. 
you do have fire and smoke protection in here um, there's a fire extinguisher down there exits are labeled there's actually an exit over there and I think there's an emergency exit that you could pallet your way out that right there that window right there on the other side of the skeleton I'd hate to try to squeeze my big butt through there anyway that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, if you have any questions to ask below I know I didn't have to do this but I thought it'd be kind of cool to try it because me and my wife have talked about something like this for down the road for us but you know I figured it was a good way and it was a lot cheaper buying one and then realizing we don't really like it so that's why I did it that's why we did it um, Maybe the next time she will come with me and we will do this together. But uh, that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, bleep bloop down below and I'll answer the questions up. But I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.